bats of Louisiana. 14 species of bats from six different sources come up with our two families of bats that we have in Louisiana. Jump right into it. This is the Rachmaniski's big eared bat. It's very common uh, statewide. They're associated with mature upland and bottomland forests. They're slow flyers, uh, but they're agile and they glean their insects, or they glean their food. So uh, crickets on a, on a branch will come and actually pick it off the branch and not catch it in the air. They're not aerial figures. Big brown bat, probably the most common bat in the United States. It's found statewide. They're usually active in cold weather, and they're most likely the one that you're going to find living in your house or in this building. Eastern red bat. This is this is my favorite bat. I don't know why. It's probably because they bit me too many times. You can give birth to one to four young. So that bat is about the size of your hand, and it'll have four pups inside. And when she gives birth, they all four will take off of her when she's in a maternity maternity. The hoary bat, uh, they're a true species. They uh, they migrate, so they will live somewhere else and then migrate you know, a couple hundred miles looking for their summer roost sites. The Seminole bat, this is probably the <clears throat> most common bat when you think about like Spanish moss. You know the the live oak tree that Spanish moss growing all over it. More than likely, there's going to be a Seminole bat actually using that Spanish moss uh, as a roosting site for the summer. Or during warmer days during the month. Silver haired bat. This is actually one of the bats that is a migratory bat that they didn't think could get white nose syndrome, but we found it. So they they're not sure how uh, this bat or this species of bat got it from cave obligate bats. So this is it was one of the Still one of the mysteries of the, the bat world. Southeast myotis. Uh, you know, this is very common in your swamps, your your oak, uh, oak gum cypress forests. They feed under open water. You know, riparian areas are very beneficial for these bats you know, where they have somewhere to roost and also have a water source. This is this is the outlier that we're not. 100% sure. So there's one recorded acoustic recording of the federally endangered Indiana bat. So I'm going to say rare. It's might be here, might not. But it looks like a little bumpy one here. A uh, little brown bat, you know, it's most common in northern Louisiana. It's one of the smallest biotic species. They are pretty much cave obligates. They caves, mines, culverts. They typically share habitats with the Indiana bat and the northern long eared bat, uh, which is this one. This is federal threatened. That's my hand right before that bat bit me. The U.S. Forest Service has found them multiple times in Gasatchee National Forest. Uh, the last one they found was about two years ago. The northern yellow bat is not northern like northern United States, it's northern like north of Mexico. And so, but they're statewide, they're a very common species along the, the, the Gulf Coast from Mexico to Florida, all the way up into North Carolina. The tricolor bat is probably the most common bat. It's the small, small bat. It's probably the most common bat within its range. And its range is uh, from Maine to Texas, uh, as far west as uh, central Oklahoma. But it is on the potential list to become threatened species through the endangered species. The evening bat. This one also you usually find it find in in, uh, in buildings. And the way you tell them apart from a big brown bat is they look almost identical. You have both of your hands. You go through the key. You're trying to figure out which one's which. This one smells like pee. This is this is probably when you think about bats in Texas and you know the big emergence that they you know, have the bat festival in Austin every year. This is what is emerging from the, the Congress Bridge or Congressman Bridge out of Bracken Cave. You know, 
we talked about seeing the bats on the Doppler radar. This is what we're seeing. New Orleans has a really bad problem with Brazilian free tail bats, the Tenerian bats. So that's the 14 species we have in Louisiana. 